Probably, yeah. I thought I thought we missed some big chances at 1-0. We didn't start the game particularly well. Um, we invited them on. <coughs> took about 15 minutes and then the, after 15 minutes I thought we were excellent uh, in the first half. A similar sort of thing happened again in the second half. A, a couple of I said big big chances and then the nervousness kicks in and they go gung ho because they've got nothing to lose and Scotty's kept us in the game really. Um, but that's something we have shown a little bit more, shown a little bit more resilience, shown a little bit more, you know, don't panic. So you, you can other team can have the ball sometimes, but it's as long as you bank in and that was that was but once we start passing again we look like a good team. So it's it's just getting them to, to keep believing and keep trusting what we're doing. Um, I think that's that's ten points from five games now. In this shape, three of those teams have been in the top six. So it's if, if we keep doing that, like I said, we haven't become a brilliant team overnight. It's it, that, that is the mantra. We're still fourth from bottom, but we're, we're get, getting closer into the pack now. Um, I think if we win our get if if we win our game in hand, it takes us to 18th. I think so. It's been a lot of work. That's why this was a pivotal game, really, because there's been a lot of work for five or six weeks to get us in this position and then to to get sort of to the cusp of well now we are in the pack so now the hard, hard work starts were you able to watch the last minute penalty i didn't watch i didn't want i didn't know what to do to be honest i was um trawling around i didn't know whether to look whether i didn't know to look didn't know which end to stand um but to be fair brilliant penalty another one because that's i think that's what the last eight penalties in that goal have been unsavable so it's uh you know, it takes some takes some guts um, to come on, but uh, I thought Jonah came on, obviously won the penalty, so that's I was pleased for him because he's had a bit of a knock recently, obviously with the the Oldham thing, and then not been able to really get back in f off the back of that. But that's what we want. It is a, it's a group of people. It's not me. It's not the eleven that start every week. It's a group of people. I think the supporters saw the resilience in the team second half particularly, and they they joined in as well. Um, so it's it was a pleasing day really. You're buzzing, and I presume the dressing room is a pretty happy place as well. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's as, uh, they're good lads, and I've said that from day dot. They are a good group of people, um, which is what we want. We want a good group of people and a good group of footballers, obviously. But it's so I'm, I'm pleased for them because they do work hard every day. I talk about it a lot the work that goes on in the training ground. There is a lot of work that goes on in the training ground, and they they never moan. They just get on with it, and I think I think that's shown. I think. If you see the reaction of the, all the subs, uh, the staff, the supporters, everyone enjoyed that moment because they are. They don't. You know, we've, we've had one the Mansfield game. We had a bit of a, a bit of a kick, so it was nice to be on the uh, the other side of one. And the afternoon presumably made better when you get into the dressing room and you find out a number of the other results have gone your way, which has enabled you to claw your way up. Uh, it, yeah, it's that's sort of like a byproduct. It's we, we need to do what we're doing. Um, we, we firmly believe that we're better than what we, where we are in the league. But it's all right saying it; it's backing it up, and I think we've started to do that. You know, the players won't be coming away from today thinking that we're an amazing team all of a sudden because, like Scott's made some good saves, we have opened us up a little bit easily at times. Um, but that's the problem when you you've got three centre forwards on the pitch. It's Alex because he didn't play on the right; he played down the middle of the pitch. So it's this. It was end to end. I know that. Do you think your goalkeeper deserved the man of the match award? Uh, I don't care what it is. He made some good. Even the even the. Um, I think Scott would tell you he probably should have come for the the long ball for their goal. A uh, bit of a mix up in midfield, so it was a disappointing goal to concede. But and even but even then he saved it on to the lad. So no, I thought he was. I thought it was good to say his kicking was good because it's particularly first half because that was a really it seemed to die down a little bit second half, but it was a really strong win first half. So I thought I thought. He played well. I thought there was a number of good performances. 20 games gone, 20 points. First time this season which have been a point a game. Does that like, give you a real base from a difficult period to say, right, now we can really crack on and go? Well, I think the, the, the positive is 10 points from five games. I don't, you know, can't get away from that. We've, had a, we've set a couple of challenges along the way. And can't, but it is it's one step at a time. There's no, I, don't, I don't believe in... You know, reach for the stars and you might get to the moon all that sort of nonsense because it needs to be authentic you need to be prepared to work every single day it's alright wishing for it but you need to work for it and the lads have worked for it and we are showing signs of we are getting better you had to take a couple of players off Elmore, Atengar and Jacob what's the situation uh, I mean, I, well Nigel felt his groin and Jacob's hamstring just won't go away 
Uh, I don't know how bad they are. I've not, I've not been into, to, I've not spoke to Gather anything yet. So hopefully not too bad. I thought Nigel was excellent when he was on. Um, showed real good energy. And Jacob is what he is. He, he flashes of moments. It'd be nice if the corner would have worked because that was another, another new one that we've added. So it's quite interesting because they knew that we would do the other one. So it's, you've just got to keep coming up. Right. That would have been. I just watched that one back. That was. Uh, that would have been a nice finishing touch. Your assistant manager had a big grin on his face after that set piece. Yeah, well, it's like, like I said, <laughs> repeating myself, but work goes on. So we can't do a lot of tactical work as regards because the players, but we can do things like set players. So we do look a threat when the ball goes in the box. But can we vary it up? And now, obviously, we've done two or three now, so we're just trying to keep the position, opposition's um, guessing, I'm guessing, I'm guessing, yeah. You've had a lot of football. Are you grateful to have a clear week? Now? Yeah, um, it is. It's because if they start again soon as well. So I think there's a couple of Saturday, Saturday, and then all of a sudden the Christmas period, and you're at it again. So it's important that the players recover now, um, pick the bones out of today, good and bad, and then um, go again.